I'm cheating on the FB. I'm wearing the wrong t-shirt for today. Welcome back to today's video. Coming up June 3rd, Hunt & Company is dropping t-shirts, skate decks, and lanyards. We have the FD, we have the Supra, Mark 5 Supra, 350Z, a bunch of your guys' favorite stuff is gonna be dropping on Friday. I'm super hyped for it. Today we have something super special that I've been waiting to show up for months now it's at the shop and as you guys can probably tell from my voice I'm a little sick today or I've been sick the past couple days I'm finally coming out of it and someone showed up today and I'm like you know what I'm getting out of the house I'm going to the shop I'm grabbing this and we're gonna be installing it on the Supra well, let's go pick it up and let's get some fresh air because I've been locked up inside for about three days now and I'm over it all right we just got to the shop I bought this part off of eBay like four months ago from an auction in Japan and it finally got to me. But before we get to unboxing it and throwing it on the car today, we have a couple errands to run because we're going to grid life tomorrow morning, or at least I'm going to grid life tomorrow morning. The rest of the crew's flying out a few days after the fact and we have to get ready for the pop-up shop that we're doing because Hunt Company has an activation. We're selling t-shirts, the whole crew's coming out. I need to get some supplies for the pop-up shop so I can hang out with you guys in the next couple days. All right, boys. Here she is, the fresh box. We're gonna grab this. We're also gonna grab this bag right here with my race suit and helmet, because we're gonna need that to drive a grid life. Let's see if I can even fit this in here. Throw this right here, yes sir. I don't know if any of you out there have ever felt like this. I have a head cold right now. I feel like all my reactions and my reaction time is probably like a second delayed right now. And it's making filming this vlog really difficult because I'm not remembering what I just filmed previously because I'm like tired I guess I don't know but I just I feel out of it at the moment I don't remember what I told you guys last but we are now headed to the bank I'm gonna pull out some money that will be the money used for the pop-up shop that we are doing at the hunt company activation for good life this following weekend from there we'll be able to cruise home eat some lunch and break into this new part which I'm very excited about but does anyone else ever feel like that when you're sick you feel like I feel like I'm in like a fog. Like my head is in like a fog. Like I'm almost like in a simulation. I really hope that I'm not the only one that feels like this. And I don't sound like a complete idiot right now. Whoa! Oh, you just heard me rub. <laughs> Let's get home. I'm I'm done with driving today. Cash acquired boy. Time to go home. Break into this box. Oh, I'm excited for this box. Let me tell you boys. This box, it's a nice box. I'm very excited for this box. Something sad that I'd like to report. My cluster is starting to go out. Okay, so obviously I'm on the freeway right now, I'm probably going like 65 miles per hour. I'm stuck behind this Honda Odyssey soccer mom bam. And if you notice, because this car is imported from Japan, the cluster is in kilometers, not in mile per hour on the left-hand side. And it says we're going 20 kilometers right now. Clearly, we are going way faster than 20 kilometers. The good part is, is my RPMs still work exactly how they should. My gas gauge works and my coolant temp sensor and all that stuff still works, but that doesn't work, which leads to a couple options. One, I can take this apart, try to fix it, put it back together, or I can just order a new tack. And then I can also, going down that idea, I can upgrade and go to like a TRD tack or there's like a Tom's tack. There's a bunch of different like brands that have made like clusters for this. So I thought about doing a few different things. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit, but I just wanted to let you guys be aware of that because that is something I'm thinking about switching to eventually or upgrading to eventually. <laughs> Before we get to this install, I wanted to reintroduce you to someone who you haven't seen on the channel. Look back, probably close to a month. And that is my pepper. The peppuccini's back. Oh, it's a silhouette because the sun's behind you. For those who don't know, Calvin's been sick for the past like three weeks. Calvin went, he, Calvin went to the, he went to the hospital. I went, no, I went to- You got a fever for like how many days? 10, 40 days, 10 days, uh, 20 days? 60. I went to sick. urgent care, I went to ER, I went, I got hospitalized. I lost 10 pounds. And I prefer though, Calvin was sick for a very long time, yeah. so he hasn't been in the vlogs. And he's finally not sick anymore, and it's literally, unfortunately, because he was sick, we didn't know when he wouldn't be sick, so the whole trip that we are all, like pretty much the whole entire friends group was leaving for tomorrow, good life, Calvin's not going to good life because we didn't know if he would still be sick. So, fortunately, he's not gonna be coming there, but. Hey, I just wanna give a shout out to the blood sacrifice, my Lord and Savior Goose made to bring me back to life. Yeah, I had to sacrifice some there was blood. A, there was a lot of we, blood. We had to do like a, a, a fire dance, a rain dance. You guys didn't even oh, make that a video. It, it's not going in the vlog because it is TOS, but 
you know, thank you, Coops. <laughs> but Calvin, because uh, he's here, I was like, dude, I haven't seen you. Come over for a little bit. I'm not sick anymore, but I'm like still kind of coming down off the sickness. So <laughs> Calvin's risking his life being here today. But let's get to this install here. I thought it'd be fun if Calvin came and did it with us. Even though it's not much, it's not going to be too difficult. Uh, let me open this for you, boys, because, man, this thing, I'm really excited for this. Did Don't you, cough on me, bro. You coughed on me, bro. Dude, you sound I sick. Look, you look like you're Dude, you look, me, you look like you're sick I'm still. I'm amazing. <clears throat> Don't, Don't okay, you're trying to trigger a cough, bro, on me, bro. Oh, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be coughing I on me. I just stopped Six dying. feet. I, I got Do I, I need to get a mask? Oh, man. Let me just. Oh. Oh. Oh, they just kind of saw it. Now I'm going to open it. Oh, my gosh. So. Oh, hey, that's sick. Something that I've been looking for for this car for a very long time. I like. OEM quality stuff. I don't like aftermarket gauges. Calvin knows that. I don't like crazy interiors. I like everything to be like OEM plus. Now this steering wheel is something that I honestly don't really ever see in Supras. When you I've never seen a Supra with this wheel. To my understanding, they are pretty rare. Guess how much I got that online for? Please tell me not like, like more than three thousand dollars. Okay, it's it's a little more than three. It's a little more than. It's a little more than three grand. I saw some for like twenty eight hundred bucks that they weren't as good condition. I got this one for I think like mid three thousand dollars shipped. Okay. It's a lot, but they're going up and up and up in value. Oh and I've been holding off on buying one because I was like, man, thirty thirty five hundred dollars for a steering wheel that hurts. But it keeps but, airbag. Yeah, I was like, I gotta do it. The price on these just keeps going up and up. I've been sourcing a bunch of stuff for my RX-7. I've been, as I told you guys a long time ago, I'm going through a whole refreshment on this Supra and we're still waiting on the brakes. The brakes won't be here till end of June. I ordered those like, I think beginning of March. So there's still a handful of parts coming in for this car, but this is one of those things that I ordered and I'm, then I told you guys, hey, some big stuff's coming for the Supra. It's gonna get some new love and man, this thing is in such good condition. I'm so hyped. So we're gonna be uninstalling the old one today and chucking in this new one. This old one's cool too, because it has like the super badge on it, but this the edges of it are actually pretty beat up and it's always been really rough. When I bought the car, it was kind of like that. So I always knew one day I would upgrade. And what's really neat is this new one from the factory actually has a little bit of a thicker bolstering. So it's a little bit of a thicker wheel. You got the red stitching and of course you have that famous TRD logo on the front. Ooh, oh, there's a little push pin. You gotta, yeah. This doesn't have an airbag. Oh, oh, you're right. There's no airbag in that. Maybe the 93 didn't come with an airbag. Maybe you just, it's a sign. I will say, this centerpiece is super, super dope. I'm going to miss the super badge, but the TRD one is much cooler, in my opinion. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Yes, sir. The steering wheel is mega stuck, so we're gonna film ourselves getting it off. In case it breaks, I have evidence. That TJ did it and not me. Whoa, that was a, oh my good. You go to the gym? I don't it's, know, man. Is there, are we missing something? It looks like, oh, you are gonna, oh, jeez. Dude, we're gonna snap something here. I don't think it'll snap anything. It's just really stuck. You are get, oh, oh, that was good. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm here, hello? Cody? Got it. Oh! It just like wheeled itself Whoa, off. Whoa, wait, okay. So one thing that I noticed, this doesn't come with an airbag. So the pins are different from the old wheel to the new wheel. The old wheel just had like a little push on, but the new steering wheel has like a multi-pin connector yeah. um, that in that bag, that steering wheel has an airbag. I guess we just don't get to utilize the airbag. Yep, I mean. <laughs> Half these cars don't have that. I know, right? Please put it on straight. I always put it on straight. Would... Oh, is that straight? Let's go that Oh, oh yeah. That feels real good. <laughs> so one thing that also sucks, because this plug is different, so this is supposed to go to this. So technically, we, I was just talking to Kyle, what we could do is we could just cut this and then just put a push pin in there, or like a push... A spade. A spade, sorry and you could just connect it, but I don't want to do that. Cause it's a nice It's plug. just a nice piece and I want to know if I ever want to resell it, I can. So we're not going to be using the airbag and we're also not going to be using the horn. I'm not going to reutilize the airbag or the horn, which kind of is like, why would you even be doing this? Cause it's cool. Cause it's cool, all right? <laughs> and it's sterile. Oh, dude. I'm about to 
Both. That's hot. That's almost as fire as your hog. Dude, my hog, Calvin hasn't even seen my hog yet. Dude, I've seen, I think I've seen it. I've seen oh, it. Oh, actually, I brought it by. I've, I've seen your hog. I brought it by when I, when I hey, what'd you think of that gift? Oh, what do you think of that card? It was, it was so sweet. What'd you think like, of that card? Did you like uh, the card? It made me happy. It, it helped me sleep. Now that we got the TRD wheel in, I need you guys to help me make a decision. Because our cluster is starting to go out on us, they have a TRD cluster, which this is a photo of it right here, so you guys can look at it for reference. Only thing that is different about it than this cluster right here is the fact that there's a TRD logo in it, a small one, and the fact that the kilometers go above 180. That's it. They're exactly the same. It's not like it's a different back face or anything like that. There's barely any difference, but they are so expensive. I think they're like around that $3,000 mark. And that's for like a little, little thing you barely see. For three grand, you get a different shaped wheel and I get like a brand new feeling steering wheel and I get the nice little TRD logo. But on the cluster, it's a lot less of a difference. So leave a comment down below. Help me figure it out. I don't know what to do. Help me figure it out, boys. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. Oh, damn. All right, we're going to play one of my favorite games ever. And that is... Can Sabrina spot what modification we did today? Any second, she's gonna come through that door and we're gonna surprise her with our favorite game. All right, welcome back to today's game. TJ, Your I'm, not fav I'm not driving this to lunch. Don't, nope, don't, don't even not that me. game. Today's favorite game, your favorite, can she spot it? In today's game, we're gonna see if Sabrina can spot the new modification we have done on our fabulous 1993 Mark IV Toyota Supra. Is it, For is it an exterior mod or an interior mod? I feel you like if that? I say that, it might give away too much information. Okay. I well, I see you didn't fucking fix this gap that's been needing to get fixed. Okay. <laughs> this isn't roasting TJ's cars. This is figuring out what we have upgraded. I think I just want to take my time. So if you could just let me participate in the game that I am Hey, I'm giving you all the time you need, girl. Is this a diffuser? That diffuser's always been there. I mean, it I is... I would have guessed that. Oh, there's a new steering wheel. Is that your guess? That's right. That's your, your short. Yeah, because I remember I always look at like the old wheel when you're driving and I'm like, damn, this thing is old because of the wheel. Is that wrong? That's right! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Do I win? No. What? You win the choice of what we take to lunch, the Harley or the Supra. Ooh, <clears throat> the Supra. Okay, <laughs> we'll take the Supra. Wow, she did it. I'm impressed. What well, what was it that gave it away? This, this is like hard to miss or what was it for you? I just, Hello? that's genuinely it. Is a lot of the times when we're in this car and I'm just looking like over here, I'm like, well, I'm reminded how old the car is. I haven't had any roads to give this thing a proper rip with the new steering wheel, but I will say it is probably like 20 mils smaller than the last wheel. And it, I can actually feel it pretty big difference. It feels a lot nicer. I can't even tell you how nice it feels to have like just a brand new steering wheel wrap on it as well. It feels so good. Okay, so as I told you guys earlier, we don't have any of the wires connected. So I assumed that the horn wouldn't work, but I just pressed it out of, just cause I was curious and listen. Maybe there are some Toyota techs in the comments that can answer. Is there like a, a magnetic system or something? Or maybe it's like when the metal plate touches. So I, I, just, I don't know why the horn works. I didn't wire it up. If anyone down below is really smart and can help me figure it out, I'd be curious to know why this horn still works because I for sure thought it didn't. So I don't know, just kind of random and funny that I would share. I know today's video is a little bit shorter than normal. I'm going to be leaving for good luck tomorrow as, as I've told you guys a million times. I didn't have much time to put towards the vlog today and I'm like still dealing with starting to not be sick if that makes sense. What? So I wanted to end the video with uh, reading some of the comments on the last video because I always like to read through them. I usually read all the comments on every video so I like to just spend some time and I thought I would end the video responding to some of your comments on the last one. So for those who didn't catch the last video, it was about dropping Sabrina's C8 off at SOS and how the rear bumper needs to get replaced and they're going to be taking off the rack on the rear bumper and I was trying fault. to convince Sabrina to, no someone rear-ended Sabrina. She didn't like crash, someone rear-ended her. Probably but I was trying to convince Sabrina to take off her wrap. A lot of you guys are telling her in the comments. I'm seeing a lot of comments saying for Sabrina to keep her wrap on. What if I just did something completely Disappointing to different. see that. Disappointing, guys. Really disappointing. Disappointing? And the green is fire. What do you mean? I'm over the green. It's not my car. You can do what you want with it. I can do what I want with it. But there's an overwhelming amount of comments saying everyone 
is it keeps addressing the way Sabrina and I are dressing on the bike. Now, mm -hmm. I have gloves, I have a helmet. For the most part, I wear a long sleeve. I don't know if there's like a jacket I should get. Uh, none of my friends wear like Remember leather when we jackets. Were at the when we were at the Harley store, they have those jackets that have like padding on like, I'm not come on. What? Maybe give me some examples, guys. Give me some <laughs> examples. I'm seeing a lot of people roasting me, but I, and I appreciate the love. I'm, they, I'm listening to you guys. They don't want us to hurt ourselves. Like this guy, I recently had a wreck from a stupid driver and broke my pelvis and I have to live with a drop foot for the rest of my life. I don't know what a drop foot is, but it doesn't sound like something that you'd want. Matt with the white PPF would go hard on the bronze to ease red interior. I agree, I'm trying to convince her. Not really too sure if she, what, what she's do gonna mean? do. you you're trying to convince me? It was my idea. I meant I trying to convince you to go back to white, but she wants to wrap the car a different color, question mark. I'm not too sure. Or I want it to be matte white, question mark. So I see this comment a lot, and I'm gonna address it because I don't I don't get it. This guy says, Shay Wilmer says, Love how Teach lives in the house he lives in, drives the cars he drives, and still eats Kraft mac and cheese on a paper plate. What a guy. What's the deal with eating on a paper plate? Dude, every I don't understand time why people hose me about that. Every time I post a dinner that I'm proud of that I made and it's on a paper plate, my DMs are full of roasts. Why? Apparently, it's bad for the environment. Like, why do we? Okay, I, I can get the environment. No, but people, it's it, they're like, oh, it's so like. I, I take it as like, oh, that's not classy. Don't eat on a paper plate, but it's like, the cleanup is so yeah. easy. Why would you not eat on a paper plate? True. I don't true. know. But I, I'll, I see a lot of comments all the time. Like, TJ, I can't believe you're eating off of, off of a paper plate. LOL. When you're in bed ready to sleep and teach, post a video, gotta wake up to watch it now. The Whoa. past couple uploads Whoa. have been late. We're in between projects right now, so a lot of the videos have just been like day in the life stuff. The RX-7 veil side is coming back. A major, major, major project will be releasing soon. It's an Something f***ing huge is coming, and just just wait. I know we're like, teach, where's, where's the crazy builds? Just wait, okay? Just wait. We're, we're in between a bunch of stuff right now, but some really cool stuff is coming up. I'm really excited about it. Aaron Anderson said, some Kevlar jeans and a jacket would definitely be worth it. It's always a short trip that people crash on. Yeah, I was gonna say, for all of you guys that are concerned about what we're wearing, we're never taking it on the freeway. We're not going on long roads. We've only just kind of gone like a few miles up I know, but the that's street. their point. They say but still. But that's this point. It's always the small trips that you fall on. You guys would have been proud of me. I wore a leather jacket on the last one we went on. That was for me. She did, but I don't think that's like a real leather jacket, so I don't know if it counts the same. What? Yeah. Y'all are gonna tell me that this here ain't a proper leather jacket to ride on the back no, of a hog. No, dude, that's like fake leather. That's not real. TJ, this it's is not. not fake leather. This was expensive. Bro, this is fake. Carter Hess, the white and carbon hood would look clean AF with TE37s. <sighs> well, if I put Thank it, you, my boy. If I put it back to white, I might want to change the wheels too. Most of the comments said, Sabrina, to keep the green, a lot of you guys yelled at me for not wearing proper <laughs> riding gear. Leave no, some suggestions. Is there like stylish riding gear? I don't want to look like a weenie. I want to be safe, but I don't want to look like a weenie. So leave some feedback down below. Sorry for the short little update video for today. I'm excited for good life. I can't wait to see how many of you guys come out there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.